how we doing the movie reviewer with the movies of August August was pretty crazy because I saw a couple of the movies of July at the start of August so movie reviewer guy here um, the order in which I saw the movies of August uh, Barbara the theatrical release Oppenheimer Meg to the trenches Blue Beetle Strays uh, and Gran Turismo all right the order in which I had actually anticipated the movies of August this is the or order in which I was actually looking forward to them six to one number six Babs the movie number five Meg two four Blue Beetle three Gran Turismo two some reason strays I didn't think this one through and one Oppenheimer the order in which I actually enjoyed these movies the movies of August number six strays Think of what Ted did for the Talking Bear movie, and you'll know what Strays did for the Animal movie. Except Ted had at least some degree of charm to it. Number five. Babs. Women have their bad points. Men have their bad points. Individuals have weaknesses. I know what this movie was trying to actually portray. At the, in the end, it just missed the mark because it turned into another of those movies that just couldn't build up women without trashing on men number four Meg 2 again even the original Meg had a little bit of charm to it even though it all even though it almost inherently understood that it would never be nearly as good as Jaws the first and last actual good animal thriller movie. Meg 2, I mean, it couldn't decide if it was an old episode of G.I. Joe, an old episode of Rambo, or even an old Captain Planet because the antagonists were some kind of eco-terrorists or some such nonsense. And in a movie called The Meg 2, The Meg got maybe 15 minutes of screen time, but they made way for a bunch of sharks for no apparent reason when they focused on sea creatures and sea life at all. Number three. The Blue Beetle. Even the Blue Beetle is getting a film release now. DC is dipping into its third, fourth, fifth tier of heroes now. I'm waiting for, for Firestorm the movie. Uh, if Blue Beetle can get a movie, I'm wondering if the Wonder Twins have a shot at getting one. Absolutely no Wendy and Marvin. No way. Number four. 
Number two, Gran Turismo knocked this out of the park. I walked in there thinking that this was a PlayStation movie. A movie based on a PlayStation gaming franchise that I had never played. I was trying to like compete against Super Mario Brothers or Sonic. I was dead wrong. Gran Turismo was the true story, was based on a true story, of a virtual race car player who all he ever wanted to do was race cars. Played the, played the virtual game of Gran Turismo so well that he got his shot at driving for Team Nissan in closed course racing. The stunt double and stunt driver in Gran Turismo was the real Jan, I forgot his last name, was the real driver. Number one, Oppenheimer. Any brain cells that I killed during the Barbie movie were massaged back to life watching Oppenheimer. I just wish it had focused more on what Oppenheimer had done for this country and for the war effort instead of focusing on the kangaroo court trying to discredit him and harangue him. I mean, there were bits and pieces of Oppenheimer that were so powerful that it almost reminded me of a beautiful mind one more time. And you could see what Oppenheimer had gone through. Developing nuclear bombs for the U.S. At the same time, while his conscience understood what weapons of war were really meant to do. But it was a question of conscience of, of, of the, the good guys getting the weapons of war before the bad guys did. Oppenheimer was a very powerful movie. It could have been shorter. At exactly three hours, I don't see how it could have possibly been longer. Yeah, August at the movies was not that strong. Its top, its top three contenders, only two of which were officially August movies, were the decent movies of August. This summer at the movies was near, not nearly as strong as last summer. If I had to pick the best movie of the summer. Uh, I don't think Jesus Revolution was a summer release. Oppenheimer belongs on the list for the best movies of summer. I'll have to look back at July and June before I, before I really pick this. Was Spider-Verse even a summer movie? Oh, it's impossible. It seems like these are coming out on digital already, if not on Blu-ray already. I'll figure this out. Anyway, those were the movies of August. I'm Kent Brintley. I review movies so you make up your own mind.